This series of videos will show parents how multiplication is taught in primary schools and how you can support your child at home. Children are first introduced to multiplication using visual representations to get a practical understanding. This is achieved through using repeated addition and arrays. One of the first methods in Key Stage 1 is multiplication as repeated addition, usually represented by dots in boxed groups. For example here we have a number sentence 5 times 3 and then I've put it into context with a word problem there are five pencils in a pack, how many pencils in three packs? So we can draw three boxes representing the packs and then we can put five dots in each box to represent the pencils. And then we can add the three lots of five to make 15 and put in the final answer to the original question. Multiplication at Key Stage 1 can also be represented as an array. In this example we have 4 times 3 and again we can put this into context. A sweet costs 4p, how much do 3 sweets cost? And as you can see, I've drawn three rows of four, um, but you could do it the other way around as four rows of three. This helps very much with the understanding that you've got that four times three is the same as three times four. And then we can write the numbers by the side and add the columns. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 3 times 4, or we can add rows 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4 times 3, and see that both the answer gives 12. And then we can write the final answer to the original question. Children in Key Stage 1 are also introduced to multiplication using a number line. And with this example, I've given you 6 times 4, and let's put this one into context again. Each There are 4 dogs, each dog has 6 puppies. How many puppies are there all together? So we can draw an empty number line and count on in equal steps recording each jump. So here we will do four jumps of six. So first we'll jump six. And then we will jump another six to get 12. Then another six to get 18. And then our last final fourth jump to 24 which gives us our final answer of 24. Now, when numbers get bigger, as in this example, 13 times seven, it's a bit cumbersome to do lots of small jumps. So if your child has grasped the earlier concept, they can then move on to splitting a number like 13 into parts 10 and three. First we draw an empty number line and we put zero at one end. Then our first jump is 10 lots of seven, which gets us to 70. And then we do our next jump, the three part of 13 times seven, which is 21 and gets us to 91 on the number line. And then we can finally write 70 plus 21 makes 91 and so therefore 13 times 7 equals 91. The next video will look at solving multiplication through partitioning 
usually met in years three and four. I hope you found this video useful and see you again soon.